doing some steam together. And for Safari Week, we're gonna be making binoculars to see all the animals on our safari. If you wanna make binoculars with me, here's probably what they're gonna look like. <laughs> if you wanna make some binoculars, get ready. It's gonna take some materials that you probably have around your house, like some toilet paper rolls, some paint, some markers, and some string. So let's get into it. For your binoculars, you're going to need either a paper towel roll or some toilet paper rolls. You probably have these laying around your house. After you're done using your toilet paper or your paper towel rolls, you don't have to get rid of them, you can recycle them and use them for your project. So you'll need two of these that are about the same size. I cut a paper towel roll in half and I had to make them a little bit even, but they're not perfect. Just make sure if you're cutting the paper towel rolls that you ask an adult for help. After you have your paper towel rolls, which will serve as your binocular base, you're going to need some tape or some glue to stick your binoculars together. After that, you're going to need something to decorate your binoculars with. You can use paint and paint brushes, or you can use markers, colored pencils, or anything you'd really like. I'm gonna also use some stickers to decorate my binoculars. I have these really fun safari-themed stickers that have leaves on them, but you could also decorate your binoculars however you would like. You can put your name on them, you can put animals on them, anything you want on your own binoculars for this safari-themed project is going to work because the most important thing about the binoculars is that we can use them to see on our safari, and we're gonna use them to look for animals, just like we're on a safari. So to get started, we're going to take our paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls. When we're done, it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna have your toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls together as the base of the binoculars. They're gonna be stuck together, and you can decorate it however you like. Don't forget to use a strap to keep the binoculars on your head. That way you can use them on your safari. Your binoculars may not look like this. I hope you can get creative and make your binoculars look however you want them to look. The binoculars I'm gonna make right now to show you how to make them are not gonna look like these. Maybe we should do something else, some different colors. What color should we do? Now, you may be asking yourself, Lindsay, this is STEAM, why are we painting? Well, do you know what STEAM stands for? I'll tell you. For STEAM, the S stands for science. The T stands for technology. The E stands for engineering. The A stands for art. And the M stands for mathematics. So today, we're gonna do a little bit of a couple of those things. And it's STEAM. I'm so excited to be combining our love for art and our love for science together with this project. Once we are all done mixing our paints or with our markers, or if you've chosen any sort of thing you want to use to decorate your, your binocular base, we can go ahead and get started here. So since I'm using paint, I'm going to be careful not to get anything on the tablecloth, but this beautiful purple we made by mixing our blue and our red. And I'm going to just cover my entire binoculars with this purple color. What color are you making your binoculars? Are you also doing purple? And you don't have to use paint. You can use markers or colored pencils or even stickers to decorate your toilet paper rolls. All right, one is already done. We're gonna move on to the second one. I'm gonna paint this one purple as well, but you can change it up. You can do a different color. You can use a different material to paint or color your other side of your binoculars. You need two of them, because binoculars use two eyeballs, and you gotta look in the binoculars on the two sides. So we're gonna just paint the other side. Does anyone know which letters of steam we're doing today? Like I said before, we're doing art. I would also count this as the S from steam, the science, because we're talking about a safari. And on a safari, we're gonna see lots and lots of animals. And I don't know about you, but I'm definitely gonna use my binoculars outside and see the animals around. I wonder what animals you're gonna see on your safari. This looks pretty good to me. So I'm gonna be done here, and I'm gonna let my paint dry. 
So my binoculars are wet, and while I wait for the paint to dry, I'm gonna blow some bubbles. So while your binoculars are drying, if you use paint, you can pause this video and come back when they're dry, and we'll keep going on our project. All right, these seem dry, so we can keep going. Now that you have your two paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls decorated and ready to go, we are going to attach them together. I'm going to attach them using tape, but you can use glue or any other means of attaching them together. I would probably say to use tape just because then you get this nice decoration on the outside where you can see them taped together. I'm using this black tape, but you can use any sort of tape you have. You have any fun duct tape, you can use that too. Um, and you're just going to tape your two toilet paper rolls together. I'm gonna first tape them on the top right across, and then I'm also going to tape them on the bottom across there as well, just so that they are attached in two places, on the top and on the bottom. So I'm gonna start out by doing it on the top. It's a little bit easier for me if I cut my piece of tape first, so I'm gonna cut a long piece of sticky tape first with my scissors. Be careful with your scissors, everyone. If you need an adult to help you with this one, please ask for help. And then I'm gonna take my tape and I'm going to tape it across the top of my, my binoculars. But I'm gonna lay them down first. It's a little bit easier if you don't do that while they're standing up. So I'm gonna put them together right next to each other, like this. I don't need my paint anymore. Let's get rid of that. And I'm going to tape them right on the top with a little bit overlapping, like a little bit sort of sticking off because I'm gonna wrap that right around. So I'm gonna keep wrapping my tape all the way around. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And so there's a little bit of an overlap, as you can see, like there's some sticking out on the top. And I'm just gonna wrap that around my binoculars and tuck it inside. binoculars are really, really attached on one side, but not on the other. So I need to attach them on the other side, that way they're going to work as my binoculars. So I'm going to take another piece of sticky tape, and I'm going to tape the other side of my binoculars. Again, we're just taking a long piece of tape, or you can use glue. If you want to glue your binoculars together, you're going to put some glue not on the same spot we're putting the tape, you can actually put your glue right on this inside part where they attach. So you can put a couple dots of glue right along here and then stick them together. And the same thing with the tape, I want them to be smushed together, but I'm gonna have my tape a little bit hanging off my binoculars. Doesn't have to be anything perfect, but just so that they're stuck together, so that I have them close, close, close together, and they are in place, secure in place. All right, so I put my tape around. I'm gonna tuck my t remaining tape in on the sides here. Tuck, 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 tuck my tape. Amazing, okay. Now, my binoculars are attached. We have an entire set of binoculars here. No longer are our two toilet paper rolls hanging by themselves, they have a buddy. So now that they're together, we are going to attach the most important safety material, which is our strap. So to use our binoculars, we're gonna wanna have some sort of neck strap to go around them, that way that we can hold them on our neck like a necklace, and then whenever we see an animal, we can put them up on their face and we can look through it. And we have them ready on hand. So to use your binoculars with a string or to make your string, you can use anything. You can use a shoelace, you can use any sort of string, yarn, ribbon. I'm gonna use a piece of ribbon that I have right now. It is a green ribbon. I don't know if you can see it, but it's this really pretty lime green ribbon. You can use whatever you like, and you wanna make it just long enough, like a necklace. And to attach your ribbon on, you can use whatever you use to attach your rolls together. So you can use glue, 
or you can use tape. I'm gonna use tape just because I already have my tape right here next to me. I'm just gonna tape them on. Um, to do this, I'm gonna take two little pieces of tape. Just like this for each side. Now, you can pick which side of your binoculars you want to be the front, okay? I'm gonna pick that I want, hmm. I think I want this side to be the front because right now they're symmetrical, which means that they're the same on both sides. They look exactly the same. But we're gonna wanna pick which one is our front. So this is gonna be our front that we're gonna look out of. So we want our string or our strap to attach to the back side of the binoculars. So if this is my front, then this is gonna be my back. So I'm going to tape on my string to the back of my binoculars, just like that. So I'm going to attach them on the outside, on the outside of my toilet paper roll, like right in the middle. I'm going to attach it using my sticky tape. And I'm doing it on the outside just because I'm gonna cover it with this tape so you won't even see it. But if you're using glue, you might wanna glue it on the inside of your toilet paper roll. And that way your string is attached on one side. So here we go, I have my binoculars almost done. I just have to attach my string to the other side. So we're gonna wrap it around and we're gonna do the exact same thing we've done this side, but onto the other side. So I'm going to take my sticky tape. I'm gonna position my ribbon or my string or whatever I'm using to attach my binoculars to their string, just like that. So they're nice and secure. And I'm going to tape it down, just like that. Amazing. So now we have attached our string to our binoculars. So now we can use them and be safe. So you can wear them as a necklace and then whenever you're ready to go out and look for animals, you can just put them on your neck. I don't think I made my string long enough, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> you can just put them on your neck and then you can look right into them. Now, the final step to making your binoculars after you've painted your base color and taped them together and added your string is to decorate any way you would like. So. As I said, I'm gonna decorate with these really fun stickers that remind me of a safari. And I'm gonna just put these, put these stickers all over my binoculars, however I would like them. You can also take a marker and draw on your binoculars. You can write your name on your binoculars. You can write Sunrise Day Camp on your binoculars, whatever you would like to do. It is up to you to decorate these however you would like make them fancy, make them fun, so that they are ready to go out with you on a safari. All right, everyone, and there you have it. We made binoculars. Now, I really hope that you will take some pictures of your binoculars and share them with us on Blooms. You can even take pictures of the animals that you go and see with your binoculars. Do you see any animals in your backyard? Show us whatever animals you see on your safari, along with pictures of your binoculars on Blooms. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Sunrise Association, and click the notification bell so you never miss out when we post a new video. Thank you so much for joining us on the Sunrise Experience Virtual Camp. We hope to see you next time. Bye. If you're not watching this on the Sunrise Studios app, well, why not? You can download the Sunrise Studios app on your phone or tablet from your app store and you can watch all of our virtual camp videos the moment they're released. You can also find Sunrise Studios on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, or you can watch it on our Sunrise Association YouTube channel. See you soon.